a video about uh, what we can call a hard wired amplifier and with hard I always uh, and also not in this case mean that it is difficult but say that all the connections here are made with classical wires um, soldered wires so no not a printed board etc etc and I've talked about this video much earlier this schematic that's what I mean this amplifier audio amplifier uh, in the past and there is a schematic of this audio amplifier on my youtube channel there is also say a schematic about this part of the circuit that is a two stage uh, audio amplifier and in an earlier video I've showed that you can connect here in between this first stage and that second stage parallel T filter or whatever kind of audio filter that you like. And here is that schematic. A few days ago, so um, whatever that all may be um, about a hard wiring hard wired audio amplifiers when you make an audio amplifier in whatever way there are say a kind of classical rules and then especially <coughs> I mean to prevent that your audio amplifier starts to hum hum can be caused by many uh, reasons the ground hum say when there is no proper earth connection when not all the wires of the amplifiers go to one and only one place uh, in the amplifier or in the shielding you can could get um, ground hum ground loops they are not repairable so sorry to say in such a case throw your amplifier away and start completely all over again this is a kind of good practice and though it looks very very sloppy I know that um, there are say kind of classical rules all the minus leads go to one and only connection in this uh, both for this pre amplifier and the end amplifier here is that end amplifier this is the minus of the whole circuit everything even the shielding on the on the front goes to that one and only earth connection you can see it here this wire goes to the minus this one goes to the minus and this one goes to the minus Uh, well, that's more or less a classical rule to prevent all kinds of strange hum. And then I mean ground loop hum. The other uh, reason of hum is the lack of shielding and or a too high input impedance. And you can also say cure that in a certain way by using a um, volume control potentiometer that does not have a very high resistance value in this case 50k that's more 50,000 ohms is more or less the maximum when you use a 1 mega ohm potentiometer often used in the past in the 1950s 1960s in tube circuits the whole idea of preventing hum and then I mean hum straight out by lamps like this or out of your main supply 60 hertz 50 hertz uh, such as a tube circuit in those days with a one mega ohm or uh, whatever I mean a high value 
a potentiometer at its input to the grid of the tube, it gets very, very sensitive to hum and also with a field effect transistor nowadays. Such a field effect transistor amplifier is also, say, susceptible to hum. Anyway, that was more or less all to tell. Let's listen what the music can bring. Of course you hear now on the background no noise. That means that I have here, here's the front plate by the way, the front plate um, and this is the volume control. This is the switch. I will uh, do more with that switch in the future. It's meant to correct uh, the audio. I want to set certain audio uh, properties with that. Anyway, it is a volume control. It's now on the minimum. Let's listen when we lift up the uh, volume control of 50k to its maximum. You can hear the noise and that's normal. No hum. Absolutely no hum. That's the most important thing. The noise that we hear now is out of the two BC547 transistors. And the noise level at its pure maximum is in fact not very high when we compare it to the signal. Of course there's always say in audio amplifiers the standard ID of um, noise compared to signal to this the signal that is say present in an audio circuit but not only on audio also on VHF UHF shortwave the noise level is important but also there's always a, always a relation between the signal and the noise level in some cases say the signal of whatever cause cannot get higher than the noise level and of course then you don't hear anything. Uh, what I wanted to demonstrate is of course that in this circuit, though it looks sloppy perhaps, uh, there's, no, there's no hum. It has everything to do with the way that the circuit is made. I uh, want to refer to my book Schematics to audio amplifiers and loudspeaker boxes and well, again this pre-amplifier in between that's now here. This one, this one, etc. etc. The filter, there's no filter now at the moment. There's also only a capacitor of one microfarad coupled from the first transistor stage to the second transistor stage. So that's all. Well, what you hear now, when I touch it with my my finger, the circuit picks up hum. And now it's gone. Perhaps it's possible to hear it. Let me try to lift up the volume. Well, now we hear hum anyway. Oh well, the the crocodile clip is got away. Anyway, try again. Anyway, um, that means in a certain way and now even the hum gets smaller. Anyway, uh, has everything to do with what I have told. So let's listen to music now. Uh, put in this card. I hope uh, it's copyrighted. <laughs>
Yes, it's copyrighted music. And I uh, say uh, demonstrate this by purpose to show that this two transistor amplifier has a lot of properties. Though in this case there's no say um, um, kind of correction. No sound control, that's what I meant anyway. Well, this was more or less all to tell. Um, you could surely hear that there is an enormous uh, difference between the noise level and the uh, signal level. So, this issue. Very good, in my opinion. It's because, uh, sorry, not because, but it is all hobby, etc., etc. I only show good practice on my YouTube channel. And when you want to know more, read my books. And about audio, uh, the book, uh, Schematics to Audio Amplifiers and Loudspeaker Boxes. And my videos on YouTube are, in a certain way, um, say, a kind of more explanation. Let's listen again to the sound. Put up the vol volume now here on the front control. This is in Albany, New York. It's copyrighted free music from the 127 Tersh. I've used it many times. This is, by the way, a Philips Bass Boost uh, box. I think the whole ID is very okay. Uh, the front plate will be, say, screwed to the front of this amplifier. There will be much more shielding. And like I told earlier, uh, I've he say glued here tin plate to the aluminum plate to keep the shielding, to make the shielding better. To be sure that no, say, hand effect is there, etc., etc. Thanks for watching.